morning, afternoon, evening, everyone. Hi, my name is Mira, and welcome back to my channel. Yes, I've cut my hair. I have full makeup, and I'm ready to make more movie reviews. So again, I'm sorry that this movie review came out a little bit late. Well, not. Not really, it's a lot late, but I've been busy with my work and between work and working out and doing a lot of stuff in between recording this video. I've simply lost track of time of how long this movie has actually been out. So I hope you can forgive me and I hope you still like my movie review. And if you haven't, please don't forget to click that bell button besides my subscribe button so you will be notified if I upload something new. Now, when I first saw the trailer of this long titled movie, I wasn't convinced. As you can tell from my trailer reaction, which I will put somewhere here or in the last of my video. It seems like an over budget children movie that is bound to tank. It has the golden compass feeling to it. However, the actual movie is quite different from my expectation in a good way. It starts when an orphan boy named Louis Bernavelt arrives in a town called New Zebedee to live with his uncle named Jonathan, played by Jack Black. At first, it would seem that Uncle Jonathan is just like a snazzy uncle. But soon enough, Lewis discovered his secret. Uncle Jonathan is in fact a warlock, which is basically a term for male wizard, with a fine establishment no less, a living house. It also didn't take long for Lewis to find out that the woman who has been close with his uncle is a once powerful witch named Florence Zimmerman. Lewis immediately asked to be thought their magical ways, but little did he know that the secrets aren't all unveiled just yet. The most dangerous one is yet to be revealed and when it does, it would mean an unending doom for everyone. And the key is the house itself. Now, it's only a matter of time for everyone, especially Louis, to fix things or else it'll be too late. Is the story mysterious enough? Trust me, it gets better when you watch the actual movie. I know it's a bit confusing, I know that uh, my words just maybe... <laughs> I don't know, maybe annoys you? <laughs> I know it's a bit confusing, but I can't really tell the storyline, the whole storyline, because there will be epic spoilers in it. So if you haven't seen the movie, please stop here. Just be confused and then watch the movie and then come back so I can tell you more about it in the next part of this video. Okay? Okay. First reaction, I do not like seeing Jack Black wearing a kimono. Since that's the first thing that caught my attention, there you go. And then we get introduced to all the main characters. And there are already hints here and there about Jonathan and Florence being more than just your average human, which sets the tone of the movie brilliantly. The viewers knows that there's magic in store. And as the time goes by, it became more and more vibrant. However, there's a lot of jump scare here which I do not expect. The fight that I get here is same like when I watch Goosebumps. Still slightly scary, but still safe enough for a chicken shiznit person like me to watch. The jump scares did get me a few times though. And that's a little bit annoying, a little bit. Especially when it comes to the scene with a room full of living and clicking dolls. I just want to run away from the theaters at that point. Although there is one scene, one particular scene that I just can't, can't fathom. I can't understand it. You know the scene where Jack Black turns to a baby but still has an adult head? I do not know if I can find the screenshot but if I do, I will show it here. That's just... Uh. I mean seeing that I have this mixed feeling of wanting to fart and barf at the same time. <laughs> I don't understand the appeal and the meaning of that scene. And Jack Black has a baby body. It's just, it's just gruesome. It's just plain gruesome. But despite that one weirdness about an adult head in a baby's body, <laughs> the rest of the effects of this movie are pretty amazing. Since I love the outer space, the scene that impressed me most is when the stars just floats out of the fountain. I would die if I could be in that scene. Die from happiness since the closest experience that I can get to that is when I visit the planetarium and I love visiting the planetarium. Mm. Now I want to go. <laughs> 
as for the storyline itself, even though it could focus only to Louis because he is the center of attention, it also explains the origin of both Jonathan and Florence, which makes the story whole. All of the protagonist characters grow significantly from beginning to end, and it makes me feel some kind of satisfaction when I see all of them together. Now, Speaking of characters, I have to start with whom I don't like first. And if you see the whole movie, you can probably guess who I will be talking about. It is the main character, Louis Bernovel, played by Owen Vaccaro. First of all, I know that he's a child, and maybe the lack of experience is what made me say that He's not good enough, but I mean, he's supposed to be this scarred and sad child who just lost his parents, right? Now, I didn't see that character in him at all. Every time he showed a slight of emotion or even when he's full on crying, which he does at least like two times or three times, I wasn't convinced. If anything, I just think of him as this bratty little child that is just probably ungrateful. I'm sorry for being mean, but that's how I feel when I saw him crying. <laughs> I mean, if Louis crying is supposed to be like a joke, please let me know, comment below, tell me if I'm wrong, because I definitely am not sure about this character, whether he should be taken seriously or not. Now, my favorite character is actually Florence Zimmerman, played by none other than Kate Blanchett. I still can move on from her role in Thor, which is Hela, of course, but this time she managed to show a softer side of her. Oh, and her chemistry with Jack Black's character is spot on. I love it whenever they banter and just call each other's name, silly names, but still degrading at some point, but still not that degrading. <laughs> Plus, they made such a good team and actually supports each other, which was visible throughout the movie. Jack Black himself is pretty good even though he is not as catchy as Kate. But I appreciate now that he has a more serious character than his usual comedic ones. As for the villains of the show, um, they didn't really show that much to me. Not that I hate them, but I feel like they just do their jobs, you know, nothing more. There's just nothing really special about them, for me at least. Now. We all came to that question, should you watch this movie? I <laughs> If you have watched the trailer and then got curious, then yeah, why not? You should watch this movie. It will definitely elevate your spirits because the trailer might disappoint you, but the movie would be better than the trailer. And if you are looking for a fun and thrilling family movie with good storyline, then this will not disappoint you. But aside from that, there's nothing really special about a house with a clock in its walls besides their long title. So, that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this movie review. And if you do, don't forget to comment below, like, subscribe. All three or just one would be nice. <laughs> and follow me on Facebook and Instagram. They are in my description below. Thank you again so much for watching. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for love. Here's for a thousand subscribers. And I will see you next time. Bye.